Okay, so I'm gonna make a quick video on how to wire up a fuel gauge level sensor in your Mega Squirt equipped car. So uh, to start off, I have the uh, Mega Squirt 3X. So I don't know if this is going to apply uh, to those of you who are running Mega Squirt 2 or uh, the MS3 Gold Box or Pro or whatever you have. I'm just gonna go through what I have and how I got mine to work. So as you can see, I have my fuel pump and sending unit here on the ground. My pump is currently unplugged, so I'm not cycling the fuel pump on and off while it's dry. But uh, I have the fuel sending unit going right here. And as you can see on here on the gauge, once it's full and go down, the fuel level goes all the way down. And then once I go back up, fuel level goes all the way up. And I'm sure there's a way to reduce the lag factor and adjust it, but right now this is just proof of concept. So the circuit I followed is this guy right here. It's pretty uh, pretty straightforward and easy to follow. Um, but if you're dumb at circuitry like I am, then this is a little bit confusing. So uh, for those of you who don't know circuitry or are confused by this, this fuel level sensor to ground, the fuel level sensor is already grounded. So uh, the way it works, uh, at least on mine, this yellow wire here is the fuel level sending thing. And then my sending unit grounds against the body, which goes up here and grounds against, you know, the chassis of the car. So um, you don't have to worry about running this to a, a another ground because uh, it's already grounded. But what you do need is you need a 5 volt source, a resistor, and then an analog input into the Mega Squirt. So I have this uh, fancy box of resistors in here, and I used one of those. Now my uh, my sending unit is a um, 20 ohm to 120 ohm sending unit. So you need to find out how many ohms. Uh, what ohm range your sending unit is and it's pretty easy to do you can look up on how to do it on on youtube and pretty much you just take a multimeter set it to 200 and then uh you uh, take the resistance uh values from uh your sending unit wire and ground any ground it doesn't matter because uh, all this does is just uh, when you're measuring ohms it's just measuring resistance to ground so uh following this circuit you need five volts. So what I did is I took a uh, spare uh, output from the manual, which is Spark E from the MS3X manual. It is a five volt output. So I toggled that to turn on. And if I go fast, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to make this sh uh, video as short as possible. So I went to advanced engine, programmable on and off outputs, and I went down to Spark E and I have it enabled um, basically to just turn on when battery voltage is greater than one volt. So as soon as the uh, the key turns on, my five volts is going and it's going into um, the circuit there. Now the next part, you need a resistor. So since my sending unit is a uh, 20 to 120 ohm uh, resistor, uh, or I'm sorry, ohm sending unit, whatever, I used a 200 ohm resistor right here and then uh, I wired that to the input to the mega squirt which I used uh, spare ADC so what does it look like physically what is the physical wiring look like so uh, this is just a test wire this black one right here uh, disregard the colors it's just a test wire but I have it running all the way down to the basically tying in with the sending unit wire so it's not finished, it's, again, this is just proof of concept. But, so it's running here. You have, you have your spare, uh, your five volt source, which mine is the Spark E, running into a five, or I'm sorry, my 200 ohm resistor, which is just looping back and tying into my spare ADC wire. So if you take away the sending unit, all it is is you're tying in your five volt to your spare analog. And you wanna uh, put your uh, resistor and then uh, tie in your um, sending unit wire in between here and the resistor in there. So that's what it looks like in practice. So after you have that, the hard, the hard wire part, you need to go in and program it. So the way you do that is you go to advanced engine, 
generic sensor inputs and it's going to bring up this window so I see uh, as you can see my sensor uh, source is spare ADC I named it fuel level and it's a linear transformation and my values I just put 200 to 300 and I, I don't know if that's right I know there's a calculation that you can do um, no my flashlight turned off or oh, whatever um, there's a calculation you can do to make this all nice and pretty so uh, once you do have that you'll see uh, on mine I have uh, the main dashboard up here and I changed one of my gauges to fuel level so if I move it if I'm actually moving the fuel sending unit you can see that it doesn't really move much it's actually a very small uh, movement uh, uh, I'm sorry sweep of the the needle there but I don't really care about that what I do care about is right now while the sending unit is at full like if my if I had a full tank of gas my value is 178 oh, it's getting a little finicky there I got this test wire wiggling but it's a hundred and let's just say it's 160 so at empty full empty it goes down to 95 so Oh, there it goes. Okay, so 183 is full. 94 is empty. So 94 to 188. So I'm going to say 90 to 190. So memorizing those values, I can actually go to designer mode. Click on the little gauge. Dashboard designer. Sorry if y'all didn't see that. Uh, so uh, let me just redo that real quick. So... Uh, right click on the mouse go down to designer mode click on your gauge dashboard designer go down to properties dialog so uh, the minimum value of the gauge if I wanted uh, full empty so the minimum value for empty we said was 90 and the maximum maximum value we said for full was what 190 so 190 and then we just exit out now we can exit out of designer mode and we can see the fuel level goes from full to empty we change the sweep same thing if you've designed your own uh, tablet uh, or I'm sorry your own dashboard like I have I use this bar here it's the same exact process designer mode dashboard designer properties dialog and I changed it from 90 I have mine from 94 to 190 but it's the same concept so that in a nutshell is basically how you wire in your uh, fuel level uh, for your mega squirt equipped car I hope this helped this has been super frustrating um, for me since I've been trying to figure this out for a couple weeks and I know I'm done with circuitry um, and everything else but I'm just stoked that I have it figured out somewhat so I have a rough idea of what I'm running in the tank um so uh thanks for watching and uh good luck to anyone out there who's trying to figure this out as well